guys, in this video, I will be discussing all about cogeneration. So, basically, sa cogeneration, halos ganun lang din siya. Although, dito, kasi parang, uh, ano siya eh, meron siyang dual purpose. Mag, ang, ang napoproduce nito is the power of the turbine or the electricity plus yung uh, heat pa. Okay? So, nagpo-produce din siya ng heat or process dahil dito sa process heater. Yung heat na to is nagagamit for uh, any process in the field na kailangan ng heat. Okay, halimbawa, uh, kailangan sa process na uh, to maintain a high temperature. Ayan, ito yung ginagamit. So, uh, hindi lang basta electricity yung pinoproduce niya through the turbine, magpoproduce din siya ng additional heat para hindi masayang yung sobrang init na pinoproduce ng boiler. Okay? So, dual purpose siya. Okay? So, basically, madadagdagan lang dito ng uh, heat. Bukod dun sa energy in na produce ng boiler, merong energy siya sa process heater tsaka, syempre, yung condenser na reject. Ito, reject eto useful heat okay and then work ng turbine okay yun pa din eto tsaka yung expansion niya so magsolve tayo ng problem yan sabi dito consider the cogeneration plant shown in the figure steam enters the turbine at 7 mpa 500 degrees celsius okay pumasok siya sa turbine some steam is extracted from the turbine at 500 kPa. So, pumasok, nag-expand, nag-extract, papuntang 500 kPa for process heating. The remaining steam continues to expand to 5 kPa. Steam is then condensed at con constant pressure and pumped to the boiler. Pressure of 7 MPa. Okay, pagkatapos nito, from the condenser, pinap niya to 7 MPa. Okay. The... At times of high demand for process heat, some steam leaving the boiler is throttled to 500 uh, kPa. Okay, 500 kPa. Okay, throttled. So, uh, from the boiler, kumukuha na siya ng portion. Agad, hindi na niya ina-expand sa turbine. Okay. It is subsequently pumped to the mass flow rate of... It is subsequently pumped to 7 MPa. So, pagkatas ng process heater, ipapap niya papuntang 7 MPa din. Okay? So, dito na sila nagmi-mix. The mass flow rate of steam through the boiler is 15 kg per second. Disregarding any pressure drops and heat losses in the piping and assuming the turbine and the pump to be isentropic, determine the maximum rate at which process heat can be supplied. Okay? Maximum rate. Pag sinabi mong determine the maximum rate at which process heat can be supplied maximum, hindi siya mag-expand. So, buong steam is mapupunta sa process heater. Okay? So, ganun yun. Sa letter B naman, the power produced and the utilization factor when no process heat. Halimbawa, sinara to, walang process heater. Ano yung utilization factor? Okay? May formula din tayo dyan. And, the rate of process heat supply when 10% of the steam is extracted before it enters the turbine. O, kung 10% daw yung napupunta dito, then 70%, okay, is extracted from the turbine at the 500 kPa. Okay? So, di ba, nag-extract ng 10%, tas yung natitirang 80, babawasan ng 70%, papunta ulit sa process heater. Paano daw yung uh, rate of process heat. So, unang gagawin natin is mag-solve muna tayo ng enthalpy. Okay, yun yung pinakamadali. Kung mapapansin nyo, H1 is equals to H2 is equals to H3 kasi pare-pare sila ng point. Okay, and that is matatagpuan sa 7 MPa 500 degrees Celsius. Okay, that is 3410.3. Okay. Ngayon, uh, kunin natin syempre yung S1, S2 at saka S3 which is equivalent to 6.7975 okay okay so mag expand sya papuntang uh, 5 saka 6 okay 
H1, H2, tsaka H3 ay equal, pati H4 equal. Okay. So, kasi, pag expansion valve, mag-open lang naman yan eh, hindi naman magbabago ng energy. So, equivalent din to sa H4. So, papunta na tayo kagad sa H5. Okay. So, pag nag-expand ka dito, so, constant enthalpy, at anong pressure tong 5? 500 kPa at 500 kPa. Okay, so kunin natin yan. 6.7975. Okay, ang SF nyan ay 1.8607. Kunin natin yung quality. So, ang quality nito ay 0.9952. So, pag nakuha natin yung H5, that is equivalent sa 2738.61. Okay, so lista natin. H5 is 2738.61. Ngayon, okay, equivalent din yung S sa S6. E yung S5 ay equivalent din sa S6. So, yun pa din yung i-compute natin. Ngayon naman ay doon tayo sa 5 kPa. Okay, sa 5 kPa, uh, 0.4764 plus X. 7.9187 So, ang X natin dito ay 0.7982 Okay, ang H6 natin ay 137.82 plus 0.7982 times 2423.7 So, H6 ay 2072.42 Okay, so yun yung H6 natin 2,072.42 Now, pwede natin makuha yung H8 Okay H8, makukuha mo siya sa HF ng 5 kPa So, that is equivalent sa 137.82 Ang H7, makukuha mo siya sa HF ng 500 kPa which is 640.23 Okay. Ngayon, kunin natin yung 9 at saka 10. Okay. Kunin natin yung 9 at saka 10. Um, okay. Uh, Siyempre, kunin natin yung SF, S8. Ang S8 natin ay 0.4764. Equivalent yan sa S9. Ngayon, hanapin natin siya at 7 MPa. Okay. So, pag nag meron tayo doon ay 5, 7.0, tsaka 7.5. Uh, values na pasok ay 0.2956, tsaka 0.5705, 0.2950, tsaka 0.5696. Ang hinahanap natin ay 0.4764. So, mag-interpolate tayo dito. Yung lalabas ay 0.2951. Dito ay 0.5698. Okay? So, dyan, uh, makukuha na natin yung S. Then, kunin natin yung katumbas na H. Okay. Ang katumbas na H dyan ay 88.65 170 90.99 tsaka 174.18 uh, So, mag-interpolate tayo dito 90.52 tsaka 173.74 Makukuha natin pag in-interpolate to is 145.44 Okay, so that is H9 145.44 So, meron na tayo H10, okay Siyempre, kaparehas yan sa S7. So, ano ba yung S7? Is SF sa 500 kPa. That is equivalent sa... Equivalent sa 1.8607. Ayan. 
Ngayon, equivalent yan sa S10, okay? Na ang S10, ang pressure ay 7 MPa. So, balik tayo ulit. 5.0, 7.0, tsaka 7.5. Okay, 1.8 ito ah. So, pasok siya in between 1.7343, 1.9375. One point seven three one seven, one point nine three four six, one point seven three two two, one point nine three five two. Okay. I sorry sorry sorry. Ah, malipala. Seven to. Ang inanap natin ay one point eight six zero seven. So interpolate tayo ang lalabas dito ay one point seven three two two. Dito is one point nine three five two. Ngayon, yung katumbas niya na H is between 592.15 tsaka 678.12. Tapos, ito is 593.78. Ito naman ay 679.59. Okay, interpolate tayo dito. Pressure, 75 tsaka 7.5 minus 5. So, 593.45. 679.30 So, ang lalabas dito pag in-interpolate natin S tsaka H is 647.79 So, ang H10 natin ay 647.79 Yan Okay um, Proceed na tayo Proceed na Meron na tayong kompleto H11 na lang kulang. Pero, try natin sagutin yung letter A. The maximum rate at which process heat can be supplied. So, maximum rate, ibig sabihin yung 15 kilograms per second, mapupunta lang sa process heater. So, syempre, uh, mag-energy balance tayo dito. Ano yung pumasok? 15 kilograms per second times H4. Okay. Um... Okay, pumasok siya. Yung lumabas is, syempre, 15 kilograms per second din. Tsaka H7. Plus yung process heater. Yung uh, na-reject niyang heat or yung uh, pin-reduce niyang heat, ba diba? So, QP is equals to 15 kilograms per second times H4 minus H7. Okay, so 15 times H4 na 3410.3 minus 640.23 so QP natin sa letter A ay 41551.05 kilowatts or 41.6 megawatts okay so yan yung letter A natin sa letter B naman ang sabi niya the power produced and the utilization factor when no process heat is supplied. Okay, the power produced and the utilization factor when no process heater is supplied. Okay, so the power produced would be work net, syempre, work turbine minus work pump. Ang work turbine natin makukuha sa H2 minus H6. Diretso na siya kasi walang pupunta sa process heater. Okay. Tapos, work ng pump natin ay H9 minus H8. Okay. So, this would be 3410.3 minus 27.42. This is 1337.88. Ito naman is 145.44 minus 137.82. This is 7.62. So, ang work net natin ay equivalent, syempre, sa 15,000 kg per second times 1337.88 minus 7.62. The work net is equivalent to 19953.9 kilowatts or 19 or 20. Um, this is equivalent to 20.0. work 
net is equivalent to sa letter B ay 20.0 megawatts. Okay, utilization factor. Okay, efficiency lang din yun. Okay, utilization factor. Uh, 20.0 megawatts over the QA. So, kailangan natin, wala, uh, wala tayong process heater, so walang zero yan. So, kailangan natin ng QA. Ang QA ay makukuha natin okay, ang QA ay makukuha natin sa boiler mismo um, 15 times H2 H2 or H1 minus H9 okay so, dahil wala naman tong process heater, wala nang dadaan dyan dito na rekta na dito. Okay. H2 minus H9. Okay. So, 15 times H2 I3 for 10.3 minus H9 na 145.44. So, QA natin is for 49.0 megawatts. So, Efficiency is 20.0 over 49.0. Okay, that is around 40.7%. Okay? Alright. Sa letter C naman, the rate of process heat supply when 10% of the steam is extracted before it enters the turbine and the 70% of the steam is extracted from the turbine at 500 kPa for process heating. So, meron tayong process heater hinahanap yung uh, process ng heat supply dito energy in, energy out okay kung dito sa 4 is sabi is 10% ang pumapasok dyan 0.10 ng 15 times H4 plus um, 0.70% ng 15 ay pumapasok as H5 then lalabas siya as 0.80% ng 15 na H7 okay plus syempre yung process yung heat na pinaproduce niya so um, 0.10 times 15 times H4 na 3 4 10.3 plus 0.70 times 15 times 273 8.61 equals 0 0.80 times 15 640.23 plus QP. So, ang QP na makukuha natin dito is 26.2 megawatts. Okay. Ayan. Okay. So, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video.